I apologize in advance if this video is a little longer, you know, uh, because um, I'm trying to keep the, the videos between 8 and 11 minutes, not longer than that, because nobody watches longer than that, that period of time. Uh, I know that from my own behavior, you know, if I watch things. You know, working those uh, or, or coming up with the design for the habitat or for the camper, it took a long time. It was a lot of discussion between my wife and me, you know, um, what would work for us and uh, what not and, and, and stuff like that. So uh, this is why it might take a little longer, you know, to explain it um, just off the drawings. So, okay, yeah, let's get started. Now, let's go on to it. These are the drawings. I have in total four pages. Now, we see here, uh, let's say, take that one first. Uh, we see here, basically, the side, the elevation uh, drawing from the side of the driver. So the driver's side. What we see here is basically the habitat, like that. And then here's the, uh, the spare wheel. And here we see a jog, right? Um, I might have mentioned that before. You see a jog because it has a special reason. A lot of people will say, uh, uh, kind of uh, optic is not so good and la la la. Um, a particular reason for that, okay? Um, optic or not, you can see it here. Let's move this closer. I think the optic is pretty much, well, not pretty much, but the optic is not so bad, right? So this is not 100%, every, everything here is not really 100%, but very very close so as you see the spare wheel hangs on the back of the thing of course i need some sort of a carrier system uh, which i can lower uh, and 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 move up you know by by press of a button also you can see here the lowered uh, entrance so now let's get back to that here okay as we see here we have the two tanks which we installed and the battery uh, storage box and then on that side as well we have a storage box here in the back and this has a special uh, content so what I will do here is basically I will install louvers in that front and back you know which you can't see on the drawings because that would be too much to explain to the to the draftsman um, louvers because there will be the condenser for a mini split AC in it yeah that's what I'm planning I, I, I'm not installing a underbench uh, um, air conditioner or a roof air conditioner I'm planning on a, uh, on a mini split, like a home mini split, 9,000 BTU, you know, uh, to cool this rig. So above that, there is a hatch, access to the garage, and here is the bedroom window. That's the bedroom window on the driver's side. This window you see here is the kitchen window, okay? So that is that. Front, nothing special. If you... If you um, if you have seen uh, the video about, about the roof rack, then you're basically familiar with the look of that. You know, um, the draftsman put that handle in here. That's a, f a foldable handle. Uh, not a bad idea, but a kind of um, not really nice design. Okay, but I left it in there the way it is. Okay. Um, yeah. So then this one, more um, detailed, is the passenger side elevation drawing. So here you can see what I forgot on the driver's side as well is of course the crash bar, you know, required by uh, the inspector need to be installed. I'm working on that currently. Um, that is that. Uh, hatch door again. On the passenger side also a window for the bedroom. Uh, moving forward storage box. That storage box here will be a outdoor kitchen. We will install an outdoor kitchen here. Uh, not sure what the content will be, but enough space, something, I don't want to say spectacular, but really good uh, to use, you know, like a very handy kind of outdoor kitchen. Um, that is a real storage box, um, um, basically undetermined uh, content. And that one, I explained it when I talked about the, the diesel tanks in that video. This is the storage box where I'm installing basically the, uh, the SEPAR filter, the diesel filter, and also the manual valve to, to change the tanks, you know, tank A or tank B. So this is that. And also new, now new, new decision is 
if you remember, if you watch my videos and you remember, uh, in that battery storage box, I had talked about that um, tilt hydraulic pump, which I want to uh, place in there. Now, the new pump came and, and size-wise it would fit, you know, but I decided otherwise. I decided against that because it would be just suicidal. It is on the driver's side. Imagine you, 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 ha you break down on a road and you be with the driver's side close to the edge of the next lane and you have to pump, tilt your, your, your cap on that side. You stand basically almost in the next lane. So that's kind of suicidal. That's why I decided to put that one in here. So um, door, lowered entrance by two steps. Yeah, and then beneath that will be a three-step fold-out uh, step in here beneath the lowered entrance. You know these uh, 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 steps from the normal uh, travel trailers, you know, they hang it underneath. Um, that will work for us. Okay, so that is that. Uh, here you see the smaller window. That is a bathroom window. That's right on the shower side. On that side is the shower inside. You know, but to later to that because we see the floor plan right after that. Uh, this one here is a little small drawn up, uh, but inside here you see the window. There's a normal window and then outside is another hatch kind uh, type stuff that is basically the panorama window. Let me uh, fire up the iPad again and then you can see it here. You see the panorama window and then it's just barely to see inside there is the normal window. You know, let me see if there, yes, there, there you can see it a little better. You know, there's a normal window in the panorama, panorama hatch, basically. By the way, uh, the door, the windows, all windows and hedges, including the panorama hedge or panorama window, I will make them all myself. Doors, hedges, windows. Completely by myself from scratch. It is... Uh, it is very difficult for us to get it over here, you know, um, and also it is extremely expensive, you know. So on this channel here at uh, Oscar Overlander, you will see how we make our own windows, doors and hatches, you know, from scratch for us. And I look and looking at these amazing rigs from those professional companies made, you know, like with a used basically base truck and a new cab on it, you know, like a, a camper, camper box basically on it. Prices are starting around half a million dollar, you know, and going up like there's almost no, no end to it. You know, I had Toby here, you know, like I, I can show you that picture from the, from the front of his truck, you know, right there. Um, but his truck is, uh, it's, yeah above a million euro so yeah uh, that is simply not in the cards for us you know um, and that's why I'm building my own and uh, trying to encourage people uh, you can do the same you know step by step you know and uh, show you what need to be done and how I do it all right that was page one um, page two shows us already the bird's eye view, the floor plan. Uh, what do we have? Yes, there's elevations. Okay. Now, let's look at the floor plan. So as you can see, we have beds lengthwise. Uh, my mattress is 80 inches long. And my wife's is 75 inches long um, because I'm, I'm quite a bit taller than her. Um, this is the reason why we had to return that wall here a little bit. You can see it here. We had to return that so we can slide the sliding door right against that. So it shuts um, that room, you know, separates that room from the rest of it. So, yeah, uh, that is that. Why did we choose length beds? That's out of our experience. We had uh, on our C-Class RV, we had a, a bed, a queen's bed kind of thing, you know, here in that area. And then here was a, a bathroom. A little washroom here, a little sink here, and then the bathroom here with the toilet and the shower. So uh, I did, we, both of us, we did not like it on the end, you know, because my wife was laying inside here and I was laying there. 
So, and whenever she needed to go to the washroom, she had to wake me up, you know, not, you know, like, and she didn't like that, you know, waking me up or, or whatever. So it was not really enjoyable for, for none of us, um, you know. So that's why we decided to have separate beds, you know, uh, and everybody can, you know, like each of us, we can go up whenever uh, we need to. So there will be two steps going up to that, uh, basically cushion here in the middle here uh, on that side basically at the top you know uh, beneath the ceiling will be the ac uh, the 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 interior uh, part of it uh, and we have uh, cabinets here and there um, uh, over overhead cabinets uh, in the bedroom sliding door to close that room, to separate it, so you have a chance to uh, be by yourself, you know, like if you want to read a book or something, whatever, for whatever reason. Uh, then in the dining area, we have a seat right here and right there. Uh, this one has a bigger backrest. Uh, I will explain in a moment why, and then the table in the middle. The table can be sunken down, flush to the, uh, uh, to the seats, you know, and then builds a bed. It's not very long, as you can see from the measurements, you know. But for a toddler or for a, for a, yeah, for a child, it's 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 plenty of uh, plenty of space, you know, like for grandkids or something. Backrest here is pretty wide. Now, why is that? Because let me find. Um, this is so wide because of this guy. Because of this guy. This is the LG uh, Sidekick. It's called Sidekick. You know, LG Sidekick, it's, um, it's basically um, a washer, uh, which we want to place right in here. A bookshelf here uh, on purpose because I want to use the back of the bookshelf, you know, like as a cable tray kind of thing to get the cable up and then into the cabinet above the door, which will be my switch panel. So left to the, to the door is the shower. It's 650 millimeter by 700 and by 700 supposed to. Seven, 770 is to the outside of the wall, so 700, 650 by 700 millimeter. Yeah, so there's that. And then here is the, uh, the compost toilet and a small sink. And here will be the, uh, see here, this will be the, uh, the um, little door the crawl through door into the, the driver driving cab. That guy here is the fridge freezer. Then we have the sink and the induction cooktop to two burner. And below you see that handle here, that will be the oven. In general, everything on this uh, rig uh, on this camper will work with power. So we will be completely gas free. We have no propane on board. And that one here is my wife's wish. That is a slide out pantry, you know, and like, I, I really think it is a great idea because on a, such a small, you see here, 300 millimeter wide, that's basically of one foot. So on one foot, floor to ceiling, you, you can store a ton of food, you know, like, and, and, and all sorts of stuff. It is unbelievable how much storage uh, that actually provides. So beside that, you see here the oven, there will be an oven. Then above there is the um, uh, induction cooktop. Here is the top, the water top, and then there will be the sink, and then drawers, you know, and fridge freezer above it with an, in, uh, an intake right there. And then here you see the toilet and uh, the sink, the small sink. Uh, here is um, uh, a medicine cabinet, you know, on the wall for storage. Now, next page, we can see the actual wall. Basically, this is section C. Let's go back to the floor map. Right there. So, section C is basically showing that wall, that wall here, that, that second wall, section C, okay? That is what we're looking at. Section C. We're looking at that door in the middle. On the left hand side is the shower. On the right hand side is a mirror and that small sink. The toilet down here. 
Well, my draftsman put the towel warmer right there. <laughs> um, okay, thank you. <laughs> but that's misplaced. It needs to be on the wall here or on the opposite, you know. Uh, and uh, that is the medicine cabinet right there. So, uh, section D is the front wall, you know, facing basically the driving cab. And that is that. All you see is basically the... Uh, the toilet, towel heater, and the medicine cabinet from the other side, and the crawl through door. Uh, and of course, the glass divider for the shower. Yeah, that will be glass. So, um, then we have section E, and section E is, oops, I got a shadow in here. Oh, now you can see it. Section E is basically shown a cut through right here. Right, so, and there we have, this is the entryway, you know, the two steps inwards. And then we have storage, miscellaneous storage. We are not, uh, we haven't decided for what that is, but these two will be for shoes, like little flip out kind of uh, um, um, cabinets. And then you can put your shoes in there. And here beneath here will be the washer where it slides out this way, right? And then here from the side, you see the fridge freezer combination with the drawer underneath. So that's uh, pretty much it there. And yeah, that's, that's it. That's it uh, for drawings. So if we talk about uh, functionality, um, like I said, when I talked about the tanks on that side, you know, that we have our door here, you know, and want to sit on the outside here. That's why I'm, I'm putting the, the outdoor kitchen in here and that storage box beneath that. You know, uh, we place those uh, items on purpose like that. You know, like here the fridge, for example, you know, because there is a stair. So I know from our, from our old camper, you know, like the fridge was around the corner, was here. You had to go in and then walk around or walk right through the whole camper and then get onto the fridge. So why I'm saying that, if you sit outside and you, you want to bring your buddy a beer or, or you need one for yourself or something, you know, um, or just another other beverage, whatever, it doesn't have to be beer. You know, I'm just, you know, going up the stair, reach into the fridge and go out and you're done. You know, same with the toilet. If you have to do, if you have to go to the washroom, that door will swing open this way, you know, swings outwards this way here, that door like that. So you walk in, in there, you do your thing, and then you go out right there. Not walking through the whole thing and hit the old, on our old uh, RV was the washroom back here, right? So you bring a lot of dirt in here all the time, you know, you have to clean it constantly. So keep the, the waste short, you know, and functional. So why would you go all the way back in the bedroom here, keep it clean, you know? So that's why this works the best for us. That's the way we think. So this is basically um, what we are planning to do. These are, um, this is our design where we think this will be, will be best for us. You know, uh, out of our experience, you know, we had over the years with the C-Class RV, you know, we think uh, this, this will work really good for us. Oh.